back, what the fuck you think? Huh? If you need a plug, bro, I got the link. Yo. If you need some drill, bro, I got the stink. I'ma ride this way, cause my boat don't sink. Nope. You should ride the way, cause my shit gets deep. But make sure your ass stays back six feet. I don't even want y'all to breathe near me. Nah. I won't even tell you to ask my D. Nope. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Biscuit. Back with another one. All right, y'all. Today we got Tom McDonald, America. He dropped this on the 1st. It's the 10th. We're a little bit late. A little bit late, but I've, I've seen it dropped. I, I was... I've been planning on reacting to it, so we're just not getting to it. But I'm not mad. I heard this shit is uh, controversial as fuck. Um, so, also, I hope it's something a little bit different. I know uh, a lot of Tom's tracks have some of the, like, um, same repetitive meaning messages. I'd like to see him do something a little bit different. Not hating. I love Tom. He's a fire-ass artist, but switching it up a little bit. And I thought, I think he's from, I think he's from Canada. So, but he does talk about America a lot. Americans, I think, does he live here? I don't know if he actually lives here. I, I think he's from Canada, though. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah. You ready? Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. I'm tired of the fishing and complaining. Why you living in America if all you do is hate it? You think it's brave to take a stand against the nation? Real bravery is dying for the right so you can say it. Dear America, what happened? Ooh, facts. Dying for the right so you can say it. Ooh, Tom spitting facts on this one. Stand against the nation, real bravery is dying for the right so you can say it. Dear America, what happened to Americans? Apparently no one's aware or cares that it's embarrassing, it's arrogance. Our greatest enemy was always slavery and terrorists, and now it's people in the country trying to burn the heritage. I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different. It ain't Republicans or liberals, it's mental illness. They Man, for real though, most of the people, the only people tearing America apart is Americans and the government. Like, shit happens and then people go riot. And just destroy cities and steal shit like. But they're doing it on purpose. They purposely drive the divide, and no matter what it is between left and right, between like races and like classes and everything, they just keep pushing the divide because that's what they want. They don't care because they're sitting pretty up there. They're sitting comfy. They don't they're not the ones out here getting their us. shit fucked up. <laughs> they don't care. It's not affecting them. But like, if you want to send a message. Burning your own city down is not the way to do it. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. And help it, I just seem to see the world different. It ain't Republicans or labor rules, it's mental illness. The internet is only interested in left opinions. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund right. these. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets. We respect freedom of speech. We protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. In America, your freedom made free in America. Got soldiers dying overseas, so America, you can say what we believe. My America, I won't ever take a knee. Our freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your backs. America, does anybody know what the hell happened to the Patriots? Lately, this nation is so ashamed and hating itself. Did everyone forget that people? For this ungratefulness, United States gave everything to you just to help. I just want to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. I don't need your help to understand it was a tragedy. Can I just be thankful for my country eating happily without you trying to kill me for the genocide and casualties? I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different. It ain't black or white, it's conflict designed by the system. I don't need your pronouns, all I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. If you don't like it, go hate it, then don't call it home. Kids taking pills for fun. People can't afford prescriptions. Damn. That's, facts. That's crazy. I never even thought about that like that. Women, kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. If you don't like it, go. Hate it, then don't call it home. We don't need no violence. Got no time for all you radicals. Screw the status quo. We're not animals. I won't kneel for the anthem because the flag is what I'm standing for. Mm. In America. Soldiers dying overseas, so America, you say what we believe, my America, I won't ever take a knee. Like, I know, like, I understand why they were kneeling, but I feel like the disrespectfulness of what 
of soldiers that have fought and died from kneeling during the national right. anthem is like, and like I understand the message of why they were kneeling because there is a problem in the country right and there is a, a racial divide and I get that but at the same time the disrespect to the soldiers that have gave us the freedoms we have so I see it from that point of view too in a long time I was mad about the whole kneeling thing because it is extremely disrespectful but on the other hand like I know people who have served in all the different branches and <clears throat> like some of them are mad with a bunch of other people but then some of them are like that is part of the they, they do have the freedom and the right to do that because that is one of their freedoms like they do it is that's facts they too. Do have like the right it, to it, do that we did fight for them to be able to kneel during the national anthem like that's facts too so. but <clears throat> that statement obviously didn't go anywhere didn't and people still do it but that statement i don't know it's just not doing anything. i feel like this so. song would have been a lot more impactful if it would have came out when like that whole Colin Kaepernick thing was going on, like him kneeling during the NFL games and stuff. Like, I think he's the one that started it, right? Yeah. This would have been a lot more impactful then, you know, because he keeps referring back to the kneeling for the flag. Mm -hmm. freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your bags. America. That's facts, yeah. People are allowed to do that because this is a free country. You can do that. You can hate the government and still love the country. The fundamental right. values of America are country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. We started out United uh, States divided. Every flag around the world's covered in a little blood. Ooh, talking that shit though corruption you can know the history and still be proud of where you're from every flag around the world is covered in a little blood we started out united states divided is what we've become if home is where the heart is you should show america some love in america your freedom ain't free in america that soldiers dying overseas so i was a little worried that he was going to be more repetitive about the because he's spoken on the black lives matter stuff mm -hmm. like all that stuff so much the racial divide like no disrespect i love tom mcdonald but I was really hoping this was going to be a whole different substance, and it really was 99% mostly just a whole different thing. Mm. This is, It's fire, and he's speaking nothing but facts, man. He's always speaking the truth, and there is a big problem in this country, and, I mean, our fucking president is completely incoherent. Like, what the fuck? They need to remove him from his seat. This is crazy. Can't even form a full sentence. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? Like, but, yo... He's speaking facts, man. America's in trouble, man. Oh, America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't ever take a knee. My freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your bags. America. He's right, though, too, in the fact that he, like, keeps, like, saying uh, Republican and conservative and liberal or Republican and Democrat because both of those parties are dumb as fuck <laughs> like both parties have been in office for how many how many years now and like it just is a constant back and forth I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna fix this and nothing ever fucking gets better yeah, it it's, needs just, to... it's just a popularity contest for control not only that it doesn't but, like, matter. nothing is ever gonna change if we just keep going like, I'm gonna vote Democrat this year I'm gonna vote Republican this year it's nothing's gonna change because you're voting for the same two parties over and over and over again and nothing's gonna change oh you're saying vote third party yeah like there's other parties and it's time for people to start truly like looking at them that's facts Yo, another banger by Tom McDonald. Tom never disappoints. My phone's going nuts. But uh, I'm glad he switched it up and didn't stick on the same topics like I said. But, yo, Tom's fire as fuck. I appreciate this one. And uh, wake up, you guys. Everybody needs to wake up. And, and there's enough of us to know that we, and we should be able to do something about this. You know what I mean? We should be able to do something about the issue. So. All right, then. It's been real. Appreciate you guys for Biscuit and his bitch. We out of here, let's go.